<laughs> Where do we can't stop? We can't stop. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Michael. I'm back here with John at Flamingo Road Nursery. Thank you for taking some Thank time with us. Thank you for being here today. And today we're going to talk to you about five of our favorite flowering ground covers. So, you ready to dig in? I'm ready to dig in. Let's, Let's grow. grow! Thank you all for stopping by. We really appreciate it. So, what we're going to start with is our first favorite flowering ground cover. Lantana, the yellow lantana, the lantana depressa, the native lantana. I love this plant. Such a great butterfly attractor. I love it too. As I always tell folks that come to the nursery, this is kind of a dual purpose plant. It's a fabulous little ground cover edging plant, but it's also one of the favorite plants of the butterflies. So I call, it, I call it the number one steakhouse for <laughs> butterflies because this is the plant that every butterfly will love and be attracted to for their, for their nectar. It's a great nectar source for, for, for uh, butterflies. And it's a very hardy plant for South Florida. Love it, it can handle drought conditions very well. Uh, you do, it doesn't get that tall. It grows more prostrate, grows more outreaching, but it can get to about, what, say 18 inches? 18 inches or 18 so. 18 inches or so. And in, all, and in our video today, we're gonna go somewhere between 18 inches to 24 inches. That's what we're gonna talk about in ground cover. Some of them are on the cusp of being maybe a shrub, but they're kind of in that quasi ground cover area. So now that we've talked about the lantana, we're gonna move on and talk about Pentis. Let's talk about Pentis. Let's go. Let's grow. <laughs> all right, now we're here at what you call Restaurant Row. Restaurant Row. We're with all these Pentis that, that they have here at Flamingo Road Nursery. And they're wonderful, wonderful perennials for your garden. So what do you have? You have white, right? We have white. We have a purple. We have this beautiful, beautiful pink color here. And all of these are going to grow between that 18 and 24 inch. Look we at these have red ones. We have red. This is red, awesome. red with a little white center on it. Beautiful. And then we do, there is another one out that I don't have displayed here that is a darker red. So we have lots of opportunities to have you uh, plant these. And bring and bring in butterflies. Encourage the butterflies we'll Bring to in butterflies with this. This is a great plant. Very, very hardy. Can do well in full sun. These are all out in full sun. As you can tell, I'm sweating again. But these are great, great tough plants. They. They tend that you want to have regular watering on them, but I've I've seen them go some pockets of dry go through some pockets of dry spells. But these are very good perennials for your garden. They'll grow 18 inches easily, yes. and you can trim them, and then have them start coming out and growing out with more more buds and flowers. So very very tough plants. Love the pens. Just like Michael said, yes. As the plants grow and the flowers on top go away after a couple months, you take the plant, you cut it in half. And you'll notice its growth habit is all the new growth comes from below. Yeah. And so it will absolutely yeah, you see you can, a lot you can of see it. Yeah, the these stuff guys here, all come out here. All here and you have new growth and it grows up and now you have a nice new flower head again. Just so pretty. These are such great plants. All right, so now we're gonna go on to Crossandra. All right, let's here's another here. beautiful plant. Right? <laughs> Where do we can't stop? We can't stop. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Where we're just laughing over we can't stop because there's so many annuals we want to or flowering plants we want to talk to you about okay so here we are with Cassandra. i absolutely love this plant you know one of our very popular videos where we talked about great plants for south florida this is a plant I, I recommend it's a wonderful wonderful plant this one will probably get about it will be about the tallest of all of them it will it'll get you know 24 inches or so but it's such a tough plant flowers almost all year long for us yeah it's great. wonderful great plant look at that color it's like it's like a creamsicle, orange creamsicle, when your kid eat those ice cream bars. So pretty. It's about, oh, about 12 inches to 16, 18 inches wide. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's just a treat to have in the garden. Beautiful, almost like jasmine, glossy green leaves. So nice. Really, it's really. A fun, great plant. Super drop taller, I found. You can do these in pots. We've had these in pots on our balcony on uh, one of our apartments years ago, and it did just set it and forget it. It was just take rainwater and it just kept flowering and flowering. It will kind of cascade over time when searching for sunlight, but just a wonderful ground cover. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so now we talked about Cassandra. We're gonna go talk about ground orchids. ground orchids. All right, let's go over here. Now let's talk about ground orchids. Love this ground cover. It wants to be in 
part sun, part shade. You know, right. you don't want to you don't want to necessarily have it in full sun and get a little scorched. But what a wonderful ground cover, right? It is ground cover, and each one of these little plants are going to grow oh about uh, 16, 18 inches wide, maybe even up to two feet wide. Yeah. Uh, flowers are just I you love get this, this yellow. Day. Yeah, you get this yellow. purple. There's even like a grape color one, really there, dark. There is a grape one. There's it's a, like a triple purple. Doesn't that grow a little bit smaller spike? Is it more? So, does this grow as tall as these these purples? A little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. I found, you know, but they're really deep purple, beautiful. And then, I have, then beautiful. I have some white ones on. Oh know, wow! And you know, so, those are not so common. That's amazing. They're, oh so, yeah. So you can get an sundry of different ones. Yes. And really be yes. creative in the garden. It's yeah. Really my fun. sister has the yellow, and she has a little bit of mix of like some pink pink coming into hers and I don't know if it cross pollinated or whatever I'll, sh I'll share a video of a clip of it because it's absolutely stunning it's and hers is on the north side of her home so it's it's she's got a two-story home so it's getting um, some of that west sun in the summertime at, at sunset and in the morning but in the winter time it's just sitting there but it's still flowering I don't know six seven years later wonderful and she has a whole group a whole group of them out in her front yard and that's how to do it is put them in a grouping yeah. all around they yeah, do great so, underneath so the trees cool. yeah you put them as a group and it has this like almost like a coconut palm baby yeah. palm frond leaf, you Absolutely. know, like palm grass. You know, it's such a wonderful, exotic, cool looking tropical plant. And another great thing that uh, my practical experience has taught me is I planted vinca as a nice little edging plant. And I, I threw a couple of these in and I wasn't really worried about it. And the next thing you know, my vinca expanded because that's what they do. They reseed themselves, they uh -huh. reseed themselves. And all of a sudden, I started getting these beautiful, purple flowers through my white vincas oh. and it was so spectacular so cool it was really fun so it's it, you know we we need to be creative listening yeah. to michael and following his videos let's grow <laughs> it's just amazing you guys can you guys can mix and match plants too there's no harm no foul you know i've seen some folks who do these wonderful things some some of them are happy mistakes and they they plant a plant that you don't think is going to do well or comes back sometimes you'll see that with caladiums you plant exactly. caladiums and they go down after after the summer but then you plant something else and then they come back up and you're now have always plants a surprise coming together. it's always so much a fun. surprise yeah. gardening in south florida is something else all right so now we're going to go over to Blue days, right? Blew my mind. Blew my mind. All right. Okay, so here we are with blue days. Blew my mind. Wonderful, wonderful ground cover. Beautiful blue violet flowers, would you say? It, it's like a neon electric yeah. blue. It is yeah. spectacular. Uh, right now, I know that there's a little cloud cover because you notice that the flowers aren't all the way open. Uh -huh. So it's fun to be here and be able to witness. Oh, I don't, I don't even have to look up, even though I can feel it, and look look down and say, "Oh, yeah. it's full sun," yeah. or there's a little bit of cloud cover or haze, because if not, and we'll give, show you a close up of this uh, at a later date, or Mike will show you, but but they are absolutely spectacular. I also suggest that they go in pots on the on the edges of pots. They will cascade over. Beautiful cascades. Yeah. Like this. Love that. Cassandra. You see them already doing that. Cassandra. Oh. Uh -huh. And this color together are just bam. for me. Bam. Really, they yeah. make it. Bam. Such a great contract. Such a cool plant. I love that this this does this cascade effect, but it's very drought tolerant too. It's a very tough plant. You want to on all of these plants. We'll give you all the instructions. We'll go into written care instructions for each one of these, so you can take a screenshot. So don't worry about that if you guys want to know how to take care of each one of these. But these are really, really nice. I love what you mentioned about pots because some people don't have a big yard and they, they want to do something in a pot. This is a great plant for that. And beautiful cascade look. Uh, gray, gray, green, gray, green foliage. Uh -huh. I love it because yes. every a lot Dusty of times color. we get into dark, dark green yes. foliage everywhere. Yes. You get the gray, green, so and then you get the blue, the beautiful blue color. It's yeah, it's beautiful, almost like lavender from from yes. a distance. If you look at it, lavender, it gets taller, but but it's such a beautiful plant. One foot high, two feet wide. Uh, yeah. Just really useful edging of, of your beds. You could plant them, I guess, when you're installing them. I, because some people are not always on top of the weeding, but this will grow in pretty fast. You could plant them 18 inches apart, up to two feet apart. But then you just gotta you gotta make sure you weed in between, because when you're disturbing that soil, weeds come in there, and then they can start to outcompete your plant. So, so in spacing, you could you could plant them 18 inches apart. Them a little bit closer, then you can spend more money and or 24 and let them grow so in. Just you weed. go 24 here, 
and right here in front, so we make these small little, I'd like to, I'd use the analogy of a triangle, and I use little triangles, and the next thing you know, they've grown in, and now instead of just a 24 inch uh, uh, wide yeah. path, you now have two feet, and it's just spectacular. Yeah, wonderful plan. So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna rotate over into written care instructions, and then we'll come back and do a quick uh, summary at the end. All right, well, let's go on to that step. Thank you all so much for joining us. But before we go, John, want, want to tell us a little bit about joining the flock? Yes, as, as a Flamingo Road Nursery uh, flock member, which is join our flock, which we started the rewards program January 1st. Nice. Uh, as you come in and purchase, we want to reward you for your purchases. We also have a plant return in the first 90 days, you know, so you contact us, we diagnose what's going on. We give discounts on deliveries. Uh, so there's a lot of benefits for being a flock member. Our flock membership has grown. Uh, we're, we're experiencing more, more repeat business with flock members. So we'd like you and encourage you because we also have special events here. The 23rd of September, we're having starting our fall festival, which is we'll have thousands upon thousands of pumpkins. Uh, bring the kids because nice. we have painting tables set up with water-based paints by the way and uh, so you can you can do that your kids can paint you can buy our frozen apple cider it's an amazing oh, <laughs> it's an amazing <laughs> event please 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 come but you can also join our flock with our QR code just simply scan it with your phone and then you're then you're, you're become part of the flock and then you can also get they can get informed of, uh, of discounts and specials that way too, discount right? specials we give garden talks every weekend at one o'clock here on Saturday and Sundays Fantastic. and so at every day of the year or every weekend of the year so you know you can get some education here at Flamingo Road. Oh Gardens. yeah, it's and so one of the we best welcome. We want we want to welcome you because I'm always amazed that people say, "I've been in this area 30 years. I never knew you were there." I go, "How do I get to meet you people?" So uh, any new people that are out there, just come on in, and that's uh, you can ask for John. But all of our staff members can help you. Thanks so much for joining us and again, John. Michael, thank you. Thank it's you. always, I love, I love we'll getting back. together. You yes, know that. this is so, great. All right, well, so let's you. grow. Yeah, let's grow. Until next time, bye. <laughs> awesome. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And tell your friends and family. We post videos weekly. Thanks.
Oh, it is and so spectacular. This was I was thinking about Asiaticum as one of the plants that yeah. we were going to talk about because it gets the white flower. Correct. But this one, you can get the color in the leaf, but I think we should do another video for that. We should. Because well, this we can, we can, is so, yeah. such a cool, such a cool ground cover. Okay.